Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create incredible AI videos using Hypernatural AI. I'm going to show you how to create consistent characters, custom styles, AI narrated B-roll, and a whole lot more. The days where you log in and you get a three second glitchy AI video, those are gone. Hypernatural is the real deal. Whether you're a marketer, a podcaster, an influencer, a TikToker, or a YouTuber like me, you're going to love Hypernatural AI. It is the best AI video generator on the market, in my opinion, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create AI videos that are going to blow you away. Join me, let's go. All right, so to get started, it's very easy. The first step, head over to their website like I have done here. I will put a link in the description below, Hypernatural AI. From here, if you have an account, sign in. If you don't have an account, click on sign up. I'm gonna click on sign in, and now let's get cooking. All right, so once you log in, you should see a screen that looks like this, and the first thing that should jump out at you is just how clean and crisp the UI, the UX, the user interface is pristine. There are so many AI video generators out there that are cluttered and hard to use with stuff all over the place. Not these guys, they got it correct right out of the box. Take a quick look here. We're on the videos page here. This is the front page. Here we go, B-roll for a script, promo for a podcast. Start with an idea, animate a story, animate a script, etc. Guys, depending on what you're looking to do, it is literally one click away from you. If we scroll down a little bit here, you'll see that I've been having some fun recently with some of my own projects, and I can go through them here. You'll even see this one here is a minute and 41. So you're not time constrained like a lot of those, like I said in the beginning there, there's a lot of AI video generators that let you create a three second video with some glitches in it. Not these guys, they got it real good. They let you create long form content in both wide and narrow vertical, which I will show you. And finally, while I got you here, take a look here at the bottom, you'll see inspiration. So if you're not sure what you wanna create or you're looking for ideas or suggestions, I tend to go down here. You can keep up to date with the product. You can see spooky style videos, advertisements, book promos podcast, anime, it's all in there. The next thing though I wanna show you is the explore page because I'm gonna show you a few examples and then we're gonna dig in and we're gonna start creating our own stuff and you're gonna love it, here we go. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you real quickly here is the explore option up here at the top in the toolbar. Bam, click on explore and I like this because this way you can get a look at some of the incredible videos that other people have made. In fact, you can even see their at character name here so you can even see who made them here. So if you wanna see what the tool or what the product is capable of, watch this here. I'm gonna click on this one here. It's called the Perfect Matchmaker. Let's click on this, gonna turn the volume on. You're gonna love it. Lagos, Nigeria. After enduring long years of unsuccessful dates, constant disappointments, and the relentless societal pressure to marry. There you go, you see that? They've got beautiful transitions in there. They've got some great images in there. I really like that style. One of my favorites though, as you can tell from the uh, earlier on, was I like the scary ones and they're blowing up all over TikTok. So if you're into that true crime scary stuff, this is the place to go, I promise. Let's click on Whisper in the Woods. Look at one more here. Let's turn the volume on. When I dared to step foot into the spooky forest, Ooh. as I ventured further into the wooded labyrinth, the unsettling whispers of lost souls began to creep into my senses. All right, I'm convinced here. And of course, on the right side, you see that we can dig in a little more. So if you want to remix this here, this was created with a very simple prompt, but there are some people that write really complicated prompts and, you know, complex prompts. So depending on your style here, but you can click on remix to redo it in the same style. You can also see what styles and characters are used. We're going to dig into this in a few seconds here, as well as changing the audio or changing the narrator. I'll show you that as well. But just a quick heads up, you can do all of this stuff. It's literally right at your fingertips. That said, it's our turn now to go ahead and start creating some content. Let's do it. All right, here we go. So now we're going to start creating our own content. Like I showed you at the beginning, there's a whole bunch of different things we can do here. I am going to start this off with my favorite, which is starting with an idea. And this is for those of you that, you know, you don't know exactly what you want. You don't have a script written out. You don't have it planned step by step. Not to worry, Hypernatural AI has you covered. Here we go. So tell us about your idea. So in this one, I've got a dog, a, well, let's go with a bunch of dogs playing at the park. They are having fun. Something like that. I mean, I don't know what I want my script to be about. So let's just start this with an idea. I'm going to click on generate ideas. 
And if you want to think about this, consider like a chat GPT where you put in something in the chat GPT, put a prompt in and say, hey, write a story about this. This is exactly like that. This is AI at its finest. Here it goes. It's given us three ideas. Positive vibes. <laughs> That's a cool spelling. The great fetch off and bark in the park. Okay, so I could look at all three of these things. I like the idea of a bark in the park. I happen to have a French bulldog, so I'm kind of, uh, you know, partial to this here. And then look at this here. You'll see here now it's edit video with script. So here's what's happening. It's creating the script for us. I'm literally touching none of the buttons here, and it's just going in and cooking right here for us. So there's our script. Now, if you're thinking, hey, that reads pretty good on a bright and sunny day, a cheerful cacophony of barks, echoes through the park. Okay, that sounds good. Maybe that's what I was looking for. But hey, you know what? I want to add something in or I want to take something out. No worries. You can go right in here and just start typing. Uh, my dog's name is Kingston. I'm just going to add that in just for fun. You can see here that I just went in and did that. Easy. It's absolutely amazing this way. You can go ahead and make changes as you see fit. Maybe I'll go ahead and space this out a little bit here. Something like that. Okay, good. Now let's just keep going here. So you'll see the narrator. For this one, it's selected Antoni. Now, all you gotta do to hear what it sounds like, click on this little sound icon. Here we go, let's take a quick listen. Every character deserves the right voice. I could be a hero. Okay, that's a pretty good voice, but let me show you here. If I click this down button here, I happen to have a few that I really, really like. I like Callum. I like Alice for a female voice right there. And I especially like Daniel. Where is he? Where are you, Daniel? There he is right here. Let's listen to Daniel real quickly here while I got you. Every character deserves the right voice. Yes, I like that voice. That's my favorite one. That I find that one has the best uh, intonation. So there we go. We've gone ahead and done that. You'll also see here it says duration, 1 minute, 21 seconds. Okay, cool. So this is a little bit longer than a TikTok short. Not to panic. Let's go ahead actually and click on continue. And then you're going to see here YouTube short TikTok. So this is another great thing. It even shows you the aspect ratio. There are very few. It'll say 69 or 916 in a lot of other programs. This one gives you a visual so you know what you're getting. So for this one, because I'm a YouTuber, let's go with YouTube short. I'm going to click on continue. And you'll see here we can choose our video style. Now, I really like the 8-bit style because it's kind of retro. But you can see here if I zoom in, Watchmen, Cats Everywhere, Fantasy, Game of Thrones, bioluminescent if i click on show more styles here you'll see there's all these different styles and if the style you're looking for is not in here do not worry you can go down here and click on custom and watch this i'll zoom out again story style title i'm going to call this uh dog friendly oops dog friendly just for fun and then you can see here in the style description you can type in exactly what you want it to be. So if you want it to have a 35 millimeter photograph, 4K, highly detailed, anime, specific artist name, etc., etc., you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on done. I'm going to use one of their fantastic styles. Now, I'm kind of partial to a few of them, but let's go with 8-bit because that's my favorite. So there we go. We're going to select the 8-bit style. We're going to keep moving forward. We're going to click on continue. You'll see here that we've get the visual design. This basically shows you the style of captions. Now, I've got it set to black and grayish, but if you want to change the color, just go ahead and click on in there and bam, now we've got red. It's very easy to do. It's completely customizable. Love it. I'm going to go with this one here because I like that style. I'm going to click on continue and then watch this. Step six, consistent characters. So do we want consistent characters? This is kind of like the holy grail of AI video. A lot, of, a lot of places, they'll be like, you know, create your character, but it looks different in every scene. If you want consistent characters, you can go ahead and click that toggle, and it does a very good job with it. So let's go ahead and click on continue. Uh, also, you'll see here that I've got a non-human character named Kingston, but if I want to edit it, I can go ahead and go in there and do so. I'm going to leave it as is because, hey, why not? And I'm going to go ahead and now click on continue and watch this here. It's going to animate for us. And now... I can go ahead and you'll see here that gives you the, you know, the token total, I suppose. 10 tokens, 10 tokens, 50 tokens. If I want to animate one scene, no scenes, eight key scenes, for example, I'll click on key video or generate video, part of me. I'm going to do three key scenes for this one for the animation side of things. And here we go. Getting ready. It's getting things set up. And it even shows you as it's cooking it up. So as it's creating it here, here it is. It's on a bright sunny day. A cheerful cacophony of barks echoes through the park. 
Perfect. Down here, you'll see the progress bar here. So it's going ahead and cooking through it. Kingston, species, dog, age, adult, <laughs> gender, male, eyes, brown, hair, golden. And it's just going to go ahead and do that. It'll take a few seconds for this to finish up. It's halfway done now. I'm going to come back when it's done, show you what we got, and then I'm going to show you how to create characters and do a few more really cool things with Hypernatural AI. All right, here we go. So let's see what it came up with. And also, before I start this, keep in mind that it has a built-in editor as well. So if you don't get it exactly the way you want it, do not panic. You can go ahead and make changes. I am going to show that to you next here. So here we go. I'm going to hit on play. Let's see what we got here. On a bright and sunny day, cool. a cheerful cacophony of barks hey. echoes through the park. My dog's name is Kingston. Yeah. The camera pans over to reveal a jovial group of dogs of all breeds and sizes. Guys, that is fantastic. I love it. It's got the 8-bit retro on lock. Love it here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on on here, which is the first word here. So it takes me back to the beginning. But check this out here. So if I click on the beginning here, you'll see I've clicked on the image in the video right down here. Watch this. On the right side here, you'll see we can do some things here. If I want to increase the size of the video, so it's got black bars at the top. Now that gives it sort of like that HD cinematic feel. But if you don't want that, for example, watch this. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this out a bit here. And boom, we've gone ahead and gotten rid of those black bars. It was literally that easy. Super simple to do. If we want to change the animation, if it comes in, it comes out, zoom in, zoom out. All of those things here, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and close this up here. Now, let's go over to the left side here while I got you here. So you'll see here, for example, we've got the uh, captions here, but the captions kind of aren't 100% the way I want them because we've got some nice bright yellows and oranges and stuff like that. And the captions are sort of the same color. So I just go in here and you'll see here caption styles. Now, I kind of like this one here. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. When I say cheerful cacophony, there we go. This is a little bit easier to see. So there you go. I went ahead and changed the caption style. I changed the size of the background image and video. If I want to remove a watermark, it's not there for me because I am a paid subscriber. But if you're not a paid subscriber, well, you can subscribe because it's pretty damn good. Um, and again, we can go ahead here and change the colors of the different captions. If there was characters here, we can go ahead and adjust all of these different things. But check this out here. Under generated images, every image that's used in this video is right here. So if you have a particular, you dislike a particular image like this one here, maybe go ahead and go ahead and replace it. So replace current video. Just click that button there and the AI will go ahead and and do that for you. That is how you animate well, starting with an idea. It is absolutely wild, but that's not everything you can do with Hypernatural AI. Let me show you the next stuff. All right, so there we go. We started with an idea. We used the AI to generate a script. We looked at characters. We looked at some of the editing. Absolutely fantastic stuff. But if you have a character that you want to start with, so instead of maybe starting with an idea, let's start with a character. I'm going to click on characters up here at the top. You'll see here that I've already done a few different tests. I've got a Superman character, so I've got that whole Marvel thing going on here. And then I've got Jack the Ripper. I was doing some scary stuff for TikTok. Again, depending on the style and depending on what you're going for, you can create anything you want with Hypernatural AI. In this one, I am going to go ahead and click on new character. But before I do that, for those of you that are in like the business side of things, maybe you work at a large company, there are a ton of Hypernatural preset characters that you can use here. So they've got all the diff they've got different races, genders, etc. It's all in there. You can start off with them. But for this one, I want to create my own character. So let's just go ahead and cook. Here we go. Click on new character. We get a couple of options. You can upload a portrait. If you've got an image ready to go that you created either, maybe you used Mid Journey for it, maybe you used the new Grok image generator, whatever. Go ahead, or your own image. Go ahead and do that. Or you can tell us about the character and let the AI do it. So I'm an AI channel. So let's go ahead with that here. We're going to name this character. We're going to name this character Kingston. And then what kind of description are we going to go with this? Well, this is uh, Kingston is a fierce, handsome, blue-eyed man with, uh, what else we got with, I don't know, with, uh, I don't know, blonde hair. 
and angular features. I mean, I'm just having some fun here. Of course, you could probably come up with a much better description or a much better prompt than that, but hey, let's go with something here. So we're gonna create a portrait, portrait image, pardon me. This is basically using AI image generation technology to go ahead and cook something up here. And there he is, handsome guy, blonde, blue eyes. If we zoom in, that's a fantastic image. Okay, it did exactly what I asked it to do. Love it. Let's click on continue here. And then if you want to fill in a few more things here, a tailored dark suit with a crisp white shirt and a blue tie. Okay, you know what? I like it. Uh, you know what? I did one before where I created like Jack the Ripper with red eyes and all that kind of stuff. But this one's a nice simple one here. And there we go. Distinguishing characteristics. I like it, guys. Let's go ahead and click on generate example images. So it's going to give us a few looks. It's just going to say, hey, you know, when we create the video, this is the kind of look you're going to get. And you know what? This is fantastic. They've got a, a hacker there and then we've got someone outdoorsy. It looks like Game of Thronesy, And then, yeah, someone at the store, whatever. All good. Love it. Let's click on continue. Let's now go ahead and start with an idea. So we've got our character. Let's put Kingston this handsome fella into a story. And there we go, we're at the same place where we were before, where I could type in Kingston, oops, Kingston is having a fun day at the beach. Okay, something like that, and then I can click on that and generate ideas from that. But this is how you start a video using a character. Okay, so now we've looked at all of those different things. Let's wrap this up. I mean, this is just fantastic stuff. So there you go, guys. There's a quick look here. You'll see here B-roll for a script, B-roll for an audio clip, B-roll for a video clip. For those of you that are video editors like myself, I'm constantly generating B-roll. It is literally one click go. So many options here, promo for a product, promo for a podcast. Guys, it's all in here. It's literally one click. And again, if you're not sure, you can always just go ahead down here and click on inspiration. For me, I love spooky videos. I love them. I'll, I'll watch them on my phone before I go to bed because I like nightmares. They're really good for me. Watch this. I'll click on spooky here. Check this out. All right, there we go. We've got our spooky video play. I'll play a few seconds of it for you. Why not? It started with the dreams. Night after night, Sarah dreamt of a shadowy figure. Okay, that's suitably creepy, but here's the thing. You want to create these style videos, for example, for your TikTok channel, your YouTube shorts. Watch this. I'm just going to click on edit, and you get access to the whole thing here, and you can go through that process I just showed you. You can change the images, change the videos, change the coloring, change the captions, guys. It's If you're ever stuck and you're not sure or you're just thinking about what to do, it's literally all here. It's one click. It's absolutely incredible, guys. Give it a shot. I've put a link in the description below. Give it a click. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.